Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another keto video and today I am super excited because I just did a weigh in which you guys already got that video before this one. But oh my god, you guys, I am so excited. Like I am getting so close to my goal weight. It's unbelievable. Like I just I can't believe it. 150 pounds you guys I cannot believe it when I first started keto I was 295 and I never dreamed that I could lose this much weight it's it's amazing a hundred a total of 145 pounds lost I I'm just like oh my god I'm so happy you guys I can't believe it you know and this journey has been amazing and I have put so much hard work and dedication into it, but it's just, you know, it's just such an amazing feeling to know that I'm much healthier, I feel healthier, I look healthier, I'm just so happy. And um, I'm super excited because a lot of people have reached out to me, a lot of people are joining Keto and I'm so glad that they're learning from my videos. Um, my friend Christina, Sweetie Snacker, her channel is, uh, she's a mukbang channel, and I love watching her. She's um, she's doing keto as well, and she's a pretty big channel. <laughs> the last time I checked, she had over like 50,000 subscribers. So she's, um, she's a pretty big mukbanger, and I love watching her videos, and she recently started back on keto, and you know she made a video giving me a shout out saying that i inspire her and everything and you guys have no idea how that makes my day because you know anyone that i could help out there and inspire it totally makes my day um and thanks to her you know and her shout out my channel is growing like amazingly in the past few days i don't even know like i remember hitting 7000 subscribers and i made a video about it and like 2 hours later i had like 80 something more and I'm like whoa <laughs> so yeah it's amazing you know and it feels great it feels great to be able to help other people to be able to inspire other people it's, it's just such a wonderful feeling you know and everything is going so good for me lately it's amazing you know my weight loss and just so many things that little by little are falling into place that God never ceases to amaze me every day it's it's just amazing and you know the devil always tries to throw things your way to knock you down obstacles you know to make you fall but no matter what the devil throws at you if you keep strong and you keep in prayer and believing in God and believing in yourself and having faith trust me everything will fall into place God will handle it and God will make everything fall into place and no matter how much the devil or other people try to bring you down and hold you back God is going to catapult you. God is going to use that for your good to help you catapult you to the next level. And the more they try to bring you down, the more you're going to succeed, okay? The more you're going to accomplish things. And, you know, I never thought my channel would grow this much, you know, and ever since I started, uh, you know, helping people with keto videos and everything, a lot of people are interested. So, you know, it's one of my many passions to help others, inspire and encourage. It's always been one of my gifts to inspire and encourage others. And I'm just an encourager. I'm an encourager. Like I mentioned in my last keto video, I'm not here to make money. I'm not going to charge anybody for helping them on keto. I just do it because I love it and I want to see other people succeed. So yeah, it's, it's an incredible, amazing feeling. <laughs> but anyway, Sweetie Snacker, thank you so much if you're watching me. I know that my videos inspire me. I love your channel as well. Um, you have my full support, 100%. Today I saw your weigh-in video, and I am so proud of you, girl. You keep going. Don't never mind the haters. The bigger your channel is, the more haters you're gonna have. And I know you're a pretty big channel. And um, forget the haters, okay? Just concentrate, stay positive, and stay focused on your journey, okay? I'm here to support you. I'm here to give you all the love and encouragement. And you go girl I'm super proud of you and thank you so much for the shout out because that's really helping my channel um, recently somebody made a comment that lady from the keto community that I, a while back that I was having drama with they were saying that oh I heard that she's just doing and then Monica's just starting drama with smaller channels to become YouTube famous <laughs> what does that even make sense you guys 
If you want to become YouTube famous, I think that what you're going to do is you're going to try to start drama with big channels, not small, little, insignificant channels. Like, what? I don't know. The things some people say sometimes because they don't know what else to throw at you. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. See, that's how karma works. When you put good things out into the universe, good things are going to come back to you. When you put love, you're going to receive love. And... I have that's all I've been sowing lately is love and encouragement and positivity and that's what I'm receiving back I mean I never thought that a big channel would get my attention ever I'm like whoa you know and actually give me a shout out and it's it's amazing it's amazing because you know I don't want to be YouTube famous I think people who become YouTube famous are more prone to receiving hate so who wants to deal with that honestly my heart and God knows my heart, is to just help people out there, you know, and to encourage them and push them to keep moving forward, keep pushing, keep taking it to the next level because you could do it. If I did it, anybody could do it. And I've been able to push myself beyond the limits that I put on myself because there was a lot of limits for many years that I put on myself and I would be like, I can't do that. I can't. Well, when I pushed myself and I started believing in myself and I said, you know what? Yes, I can. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I did it like fasting. Oh my God, you guys, you wouldn't catch me dead fasting back in the days. Like freaking not even five hours, let alone a 24 hour fast. And right now I'm heading for a 48 tonight. I break my fast. I had my weigh in and I'm so excited. And another person would have been like, you know what? I just weighed myself. I accomplished a new milestone. I think I'm going to reward myself with food. Well, no, I'm going to wait till later on. I, I'm going to stick to it. I said I was going to do a 48 hour fast and I'm not going to break it till the 48 hours are up, which is tonight at 6 p.m. And then you guys get ready because I'm going to do an amazing mukbang. Um, first time I'm going to try it. I got the recipe from my friend Angel. It's the Whopper casserole. Oh, I cannot wait for that meal tonight. And to be honest with you right now, I'm like way past the 24 hours in and I don't feel hungry at all I feel amazing like especially after my weigh-in like girl that just gives you more motivation to keep going so yes I feel amazing and that's one of the wonderful benefits about fasting that the longer you go the less hungry you feel you're like ooh, this is good that autophagy starts working it starts reconstructing those cells mending whatever needs mending in your body and it starts to kick into gear and the results are amazing you guys um so yeah it cracks me up when people say that i'm starving myself because that is nowhere near the truth i eat so good and i enjoy all my foods it's just that i don't have a food addiction anymore i have discipline and that's what it takes to accomplish a true weight loss you have to be focused you have to have discipline you don't need to starve yourself and honestly I am not. I, I enjoy all my foods. I share with you guys all my foods. I show you my plates, my one meal of the day, and I eat yummy, nutritious foods, and it's so satisfying, you know, and it's, it's that's why it's gone so well for me, you know, because I just, I feel amazing, you guys. I want all of you out there who want to lose weight to experience what I have experienced. It's amazing. I am only a few pounds away from my goal weight. I cannot believe this. Only a few pounds away, you guys. Wow. Like, I, I'm mind blown. <laughs> mind blown. Because I honestly never thought that I could accomplish this much on my weight loss journey. I never believed in myself. I never had faith in myself before. But one day it just hit me and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I could do this. And I did it. You just have to start by believing in yourself. There's going to be a lot of doubters out there, a lot of negative Nancys and Debbie Downers. Don't let that, don't let them get to you, okay? Remove yourself from the negative people. Remove yourself from the negativity, from the drama, from the stress, because stress is a big factor in weight loss, okay? You got to make sure you get good sleep and you remove all the stress from your life because that could slow down your weight loss. So believe in yourself, keep going strong, and don't lose focus, you guys. Don't ever lose focus. Keep your eye on the prize, like it says in the Bible. Keep your eye on the prize. Run the race. You will make it. You will do it. Okay? The devil, the haters, the 
all those toxic people are going to try to throw a lot of obstacles your way to bring you down. Don't let it. You keep going. You stay focused. Okay? Stay focused. That's the trick. You stay focused no matter what's going on around you. And you will succeed. Now, really quick before I end this video, what I wanted to share with you guys is a little keto trip to, uh, trip <laughs> tip today. If you guys ever do a, a dirty, I've talked about it a lot about dirty keto. Some people call it lazy keto. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I like to call it dirty keto. That's how I was taught. Dirty keto is when you have a day that you eat a little higher fat and you don't worry too much about counting calories or whatever. Of course, staying within the 20 carb count for the day. Um, there's going to be days that you might have a dirty keto or a cheat day. I've never had a cheat day, but I know people who have. And obviously, it's going to throw you off ketosis. You're going to put a few pounds of water weight. It's not real weight. You're not gaining fat from one cheat meal, but you are going to gain water weight. And I've heard it's a bitch to get it off. So here's a, a, a trick that I learned, a tip that my friend Angel gave me to prepare me for my first cheat day when I do have it, which I'm considering to have one Um on my birthday i've been craving sushi for months and i said i'm gonna reward myself when i get to maintenance mode and for my birthday i might go out and eat sushi so my friend angel is mentally preparing myself for that so basically what she said is when you're planning either a dirty keto or a cheat day prepare yourself prepare your body at least two days before do dirty keto so that your body is used to it you know and then you have your cheat day because you're gonna be thrown off obviously you're gonna put water weight and it's gonna take a few days at least a week to get all that water weight off to get back on track to get back into ketosis you're gonna get the keto flu you're gonna feel all those symptoms you felt when you first started keto when you started having the withdrawals from the carbs and you're gonna start peeing a lot and you might even get either dehydrated or low electrolytes. So make sure to always drink your salt water. Uh, when I say salt, I don't mean regular table salt. I'm talking about pink Himalayan salt is the only salt, um, healthy salt to consume during keto when you're fasting. Sea salt is good too, but not to do in your water, okay? If you're fasting, or if you feel like you're low in electrolytes, uh, do pink Himalayan salt in your water. There's also a thing called no salt, which is potassium. You put it in your water as well, you mix it and you drink it. Uh, Powerade Zero does help with electrolytes, but it's not as strong as, you could build yourself up to it, but if you already got to the point where you kind of like neglected yourself and hydrating yourself or whatever, and you feel like you're low in those electrolytes and you're feeling lightheaded and dizzy and whatever, make sure that you get that salt water in okay so i believe it's a, a table i don't know if it's a teaspoon or a tablespoon i always eyeball it really i just put until i feel better of uh pink himalayan salt and another tablespoon of the no salt it's it's like a white but it's like a seasoning for cooking it's like in a white uh bottle and it says no salt Okay, it's like a salt substitute and it has potassium. That's gonna help you get your electrolytes up in your water. Um, so yeah, it's a really important quick tip that I wanted to share with you guys because um, that's something that I learned recently and I'm glad that I learned it before I ever have my first cheat meal because that way I could prepare my body. So yes, you want to, if you're planning to have a cheat meal, you wanna prepare your body at least two days before that cheat and do dirty keto. And, um, you know, that way it won't be so hard. So yes, expect to, whenever you either do dirty keto, um, doing dirty keto doesn't really throw you off ketosis, but if you're not careful, it could, because if you go over like the 20 carbs or if you consume too much fat, it, it might make you gain weight a little bit or throw you off. So yes, you're definitely going to know when you were kicked off ketosis because you're going to pee a lot. The next day you're going to feel lethargic. All you want to do is sleep and you're gonna feel like you have the flu well that's the keto flu so it's like you're going through the whole process again when you first started keto and you're experiencing all those symptoms so yeah but a quick fix with the salt water like i said but yeah i wanted to share with you guys because um I could tell when I when I feel low in electrolytes, maybe I haven't been drinking enough water or whatever, and I start to feel a little dehydrated, then I do my salt water, and it really helps get those electrolytes up, and then you start feeling good again right away. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Stay tuned for more. As always, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos, and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media. All right, guys. Bye-bye.